Hey everyone, it's me. I'm back again with another dolly video for the third time making this. Because I can't seem to do anything right because I'm a total Butterfingers. <laughs> anyway, um, for some reason, I've made like two videos of dolls and updates in my new room, which you can see here. It's. Ah, ignore the mess. Um, but, anyways. Yeah, I'm in my new room. I got shelves up, as you can see. Um, and I got um, quite a few new dolls, which I will show you in another video that I have to make again off of this webcam max. Because the other one doesn't want to fucking. It won't download it. So, whatever. I guess I'm stuck with a stupid banner. <laughs> Oh well. Alright, so I got a new box today, and it is from a good friend of mine, Jeremiah, and I really appreciate this, because there is a lot of good dolls in here that I've been wanting to buy, and um, yeah, he kind of saved me from spending that money, so thank you very much, you are awesome. Um, and yeah, so let's get right into this. So first, no specific order, we have... Tiffany Taylor, the beautiful blonde slash brunette model, supermodel, because she is she's got that fierce look, fierce. Um, but yeah, she has really nice hair. All I did to her so far was just brush out her hair. That's it. And she has some she has curl to it, which I like. I've never seen a Tiffany Taylor with this much curl in her hair, and it's really awesome. Um, but yeah, her hair is really, really shiny, which I love. I love me some shiny hair, but I'm going to wash it and condition it again, just because it does feel a little dry. It is soft. It is very soft, but it feels a little dry. So I will be giving her a little day in the spa along with most of these. Um, but yeah, that's her and she's blonde and she does, oops, what I do? Oh, that's what I did. Okay. Anyway. Blonde to brunette. Lovely hair. And like I said, as always. Oh, stop it. Her hair keeps getting twisted up. And it's messy. Anyways. But every Tiffany Taylor I've seen, they always, every single one has a different shade of blonde hair. It's really odd. But it's kind of cool at the same time. Because it's like, they're the same, but they're different. You know? Um, but yeah, so that's her. Give you a close-up on her face. Like a very gorgeous face. With these ultra-long lashes that you can't even see. There they are. Yes. I love her. I love her. Love her. She has her original outfit. She doesn't come with shoes or anything. Um, and I don't really, I don't see any bite marks or missing fingers or anything. I just see normal scuffs, like normal playwear. So, yeah, that's her. And then we have 1969 Mattel Playtime Chatty. Yeehaw. And this is the soft face version that I have been trying to find for a while, but I've never had the chance to buy. So thank you, Jeremiah, for giving me one of these. I very highly appreciate it. Um, when I got her, she did talk. She talked very, very nice, but her record sounded a little dirty. I want to say scratchy, but then it sounds like I'm saying that the record scratches, or the record is scratched and it skips. And no. She speaks perfectly. Perfectly. But it did sound a little dirty, so I, I'm sorry, Jeremiah. I did open her up, and I did clean her record, but that's all I did. Um, when I got her, when I first pulled her string, she did talk, but the, the, um... I can't, I think it's called the governor. Um, the thing, the O-ring goes around, 
the like speed. I don't even know. Don't ask. But yeah, that made a little noise, which it still is. I think one of the felt pads is coming loose. I'm not sure. But I don't want to keep taking her all apart because she works, and that's really all I care about. So, yeah, I'll let you listen to her. I love the whispers. So you can see she does work very nice, thank you. Um, and she does talk, whisper, and sing as you just witnessed. Um, the other thing I really like about her, first is that she has her original outfit. She does have her underwear too, but they're in the box. Um, but another thing I love about her is that she has a soft face and she has just absolutely gorgeous lip color and facial coloring overall. I mean, she's gorgeous. I've never seen a soft face playtime chatty with this good of facial coloring. And it just makes me really happy. Because this is a really pretty doll. Um, I gotta fix her hair up. As you can see, it's all like separated. Uh, mainly just the part line right here I need to do. But that seems to be just about it. This is the back. Her outfit does need to be washed and whatnot. Um, I apologize, this is already at 7 minutes. And I'm only on the second doll out of... I don't even know how many, so I'm sorry if this is a long video. You don't have to sit through it all, but I think you should because there's some good dolls in here. Um, but yeah, so that is the little cutie called Playtime Chatty. I didn't know we had secrets yet, but okay. So, yeah, that's her little kitty. And then, oh, I can't reach. We have Stop Being Exorcist. Dancerina. Or is this Dancerella? I think it's Dancerina, right? I believe so. Let's see if she's be doing it. There we go. Okay, so, here we have, oh, hi, creepy, anyway, <laughs> this is Dancerina, she is from 1968, I believe, that's what it says in the back of her neck, stop moving, <laughs> um, so yeah, this is her, you can see she does have her original outfit, she's just missing her shoes, there's a hair hanging off her foot. She has both her arms intact, which I'm kind of surprised about. Because I've seen a lot of these dolls with arms that are missing or broken off or, you know, something like that. So, um, she has a very pretty face. Her lips is, her are, actually her whole face is a little faded along with her arms. Um, but yeah, you can see the difference in the skin tone. So yeah, she's a little faded. But she is super cute. She seems to be all original. Ooh, I hate that. That's the only thing I don't like about these dolls. Sounds like a weird baby cry. Oh, this knee also is broken right here at the oh, you probably can't see that yeah you can see it right there this little piece right here it's broken so her leg is a little loose um the other thing about her is i was hoping she would work but she doesn't and that's fine um she is very her battery compartment blah, 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 blah. can't talk her battery compartment is very corroded, and it's also missing one of the connectors that touches the 
bottom, I think, of the battery to complete the circuit. So, yeah, she does not work. As you saw, uh, it does a 360. Sorry if that was really creepy. <laughs> but, um, get her legs back down here. Oh, she's doing the exorcist again. As you, some of you may know, there's a knob on the top of her head. Oh, no, stay still. Pull up to the middle. Oh. And her feet move. Oh, hang on. So you can see her feet do move. And then if you pull it all the way up, it doesn't really do anything. So, but yeah, that's her. She is pretty dirty, her crown and everything. Um, her hair looks like may not be original but it's still held up pretty nice which i'm glad about so yeah that's her and then we have oh let me oh ah okay baby giggles the strawberry blonde version which i've been wanting she does work. Well, she doesn't work, but she has all her mechanics that I'm going to be fixing up. That's her broken giggle box. And she does have the flirty eyes. Which I love. Um, I think it was on this one. Yeah. Her eyes are very dirty, and they have kind of like that, uh, whatever that's called, the white mold, I believe. So, these will have to be cleaned. She has such a cute face. Shake, rattle, and roll. Anyway, yeah, that's her. Um, her hair is very, feels very dry. So it will need a washing and conditioning. I have been brushing her hair too, which is why it looks pretty good. Um, this is kind of how she looked when I got her, but her hair was a little more all over the place. Um, but yeah. So that's how far I, I'm on her. Oh, I, moly, I didn't even see that. Is that a stain? Yeah, that's a stain. There's a stain on her face i didn't even notice that um but yeah that's her so it's her little speaker box or giggle box but i'm gonna have to fix that shake right on the roll but yeah that's that one super super ooh Love them flirty eyes. She is by Ideal from 1968. Next, we have another Giggles. Well, baby Giggles. And her eyes also have the white, crusty, nasty moldness. So I will be doing her eyes as well. Um, her hair as well is very dry and it seems pretty flat. Um, the other baby giggles I have, she has, it was my grandma's doll. But um, I washed and conditioned her hair and she's always had this pretty little curl in her hair. And this hair just seems really flat. Not that that's a bad thing. I like it because it's different than my other giggles. And her bangs kind of come down to a point, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, the little 
little close up of her face. I don't know if you probably can't see all the white mold and gunkiness in her eyes. She has good facial coloring. She's dirty. She will need a uh, good magic eraser scrubbing. She too doesn't work, but she has everything inside to repair her. So I will now have three baby giggles, which are super cute. This is the second brunette one I've had, the first strawberry blonde. Unless she's a redhead, I'm not sure. What is it with giggles and going cross-eyed? God, I love flirty eyes. But yeah, so... That's her. Two giggles. And then we has one who needs a massive, massive, massive hair day. Or maybe even possibly a reroute. Do 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 rub a da dolly. Yeah. I had a different version of this doll. I had the one with like the glass eyes. But she is just, you know, I never really liked her, but her face is actually pretty cute. Her limbs are really nice, and they hold a pro pose. They are really stiff, so they, they're they a little hard to move, but, you know, she's still cute. And yeah, as you can see, this is her hair. It's all, I don't even know. But it looks like it doesn't look like it's been cut. So hopefully, if I can get this all smoothed out, um, she'll look good again. See what I can do with her. Not sure I can do a whole lot. Because I've had a lot of... My grand, a lot of my grandma's dolls had hair like this. It was all super dry and matted, all like this. And yeah, I still haven't fully restored them. They're still getting work done. But yeah, so that is Rub a Dub Dolly. She has great facial coloring. She is from Ideal 1973. Super cute. This is the back. Her hair in the back is a little worse. But, yeah. So, that's her. And then... Okay. Swingy. Another favorite of mine. I love swinging. If you couldn't tell... Over there. Oh, I have like, you can see two on the shelf up there. There's one more that goes up there. She's down on the floor right now because I took her batteries to put in her. <laughs> so, yeah, this is Swingy. She has her original outfit and undies. And um, she does work. However, I think she's jammed up somewhere and I don't want to run her too much because I don't want what happened to her. Or what happened to Baby First Step to happen to her. Because I got a Baby First Step at um, the Lansing flea marketing trip. We, Me, my sister, and my mom went up. But yeah, she walked good at first. And then when I got home, I turned around and she was just kind of doing this and shaking. And she wasn't really walking. She was more like, she kind of looked like a motionette. And she was just kind of doing this, just going real slow. And yeah. So, but this one does work, but like I said, she's jammed somewhere, and I think it's because of her arms and legs. I think they're off track or jammed. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah. Right now, she's on walk.
And now she's going on dance. So you can see she wants to move her arms, but they're like stuck on something. So I'm not sure what. You can see her arms trying to move. Yeah, that's why I don't want to run her too much. Um, but I gotta figure out what's jammed up. I'm not gonna open her at all. If I can't figure it out without opening her up, then I'm just gonna leave her the way she is. Because these dolls are not easy to open up, and they, there's a lot of, it's just complicated process. Put it that way. <laughs> but yeah, so this is her. Give you a close up on her face. A very pretty face. Her lips are a little faded, but she has really good blush. Really good. Really, really good. Her hair feels a little dry. Feels like it needs to be shampooed and conditioned and whatnot. And so, yeah, she does work. She has her battery cover, but she's just jammed up somewhere. This outfit needs to be washed. Oh, why is my nose so itchy today? I don't understand. But yeah, so that's her. This is her hair. It's a little matted. It needs to be brushed out. And yeah, so that's her. And then we has... Oh, sorry. Stupid camera. Doesn't like to stay up. Do time me to tell who is very faded, faded face, fade face. <laughs> um, yeah, this is time me tell, and she doesn't have a string, and um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna repair her because time me tells they're very complicated. Everything has to be in a very specific place, or she won't work right. Like, last time you tell, I, okay, one time you tell I got for Christmas, you guys remember that video I made? The one with the really short hair and the red dress saying, God, I'm going to throw this doll against a wall because she won't work. Yeah, that was a time you tell. It's like this one. Um, and yeah, I fixed her. I repaired her to talk, but she, she talked, but she also didn't talk. Her needle would just skip to the middle of the record. And yeah. And she also didn't tell the right time when you turn the watch. So her times were all screwed up. Her just everything was just so screwed up. And it's just it's so hard to get her back to what she should have been. Like talking to the actual phrases on her watch. Or with the actual time, not the phrases. Um but yeah, so I think I'm just going to leave her the way she is. And yeah, this is her hair. Her hair needs a lot of work. However, it still holds a lot of its original curl. So I have a feeling she will look really, really good when I'm done with her. Doesn't look like she's had a haircut or anything. Um, It looks like they didn't finish painting her eyes all the way I don't know but yeah so that's her she has this crap all over her chest which I don't know what that's about but yeah so that's her um I did open her and the reason why I'm not going to repair her is because the coil spring got detached from the clutch. And that is a pain in the ass to get back on. 
most of the time it doesn't like to stay. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave her the way she is. Not talking, but I'll fix up the rest of her. Maybe give her some new lip color. My mouth is dry. <laughs> so, yeah, that's her. And then we have... Da, 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 Dr. Doolittle. Do, do. Okay, here we go. Dr. Doolittle. This is the third one. This is my third Dr. Doolittle. You'll probably hear about the second one in the, the next video I make. Because I gotta remake those videos of the Lansing and T Call and the room updates and all that. So don't worry, you will get to see them. Um, so yeah, I got him. He has very good coloring. Very, very good coloring. He's not very dirty. He has a couple scuff marks on his head. Missing paint also in the back. Right there. Um, and yeah, his body is fairly clean. I'm not sure what that is, but okay. He does have his metal tag right there. It says Dr. Doolittle on it. And he also has his pull string. And he does talk, however, again, Jeremiah, I'm sorry, but I might have to op open him up just to clean his record. Like, it's nothing against you. Um, you do you do great work. Don't get me wrong. But I do that with, like, every talker I get. Even if they talk, when I get them, I still open them up just to clean the record. Um, so, yeah, but he does talk. Very nice, by the way. Imagine talking to a tiger, chatting with a cheetah. Oh, it's a noise at the end. Imagine talking to a tiger, chatting with a cheetah. Imagine talking. If asked to sing in hippopotamus, I'd, I'd say, say why not? Us. I think I might also oil the clutch because his string is a little hard to pull and oiling that will make it just a little bit easier to pull. So not much I'm going to do to him besides clean him up obviously and clean the record and oil the clutch. But that's about it. Every animal has its own language. Every animal has its own language. <laughs> so yeah, that's him. And then I think... Where is she? Oh, where'd she go? Oh, wait. Who's these? And also, Giggles. One of the baby Giggles came with her original undies, but not the dress. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. So then we have this little girl. I'm loving this face. Like, this is such a cute face. It reminds me of Pebbles from the Flintstones. She's got, like, those twig eyebrows. <laughs> but yeah, this is her. Her hair is very soft. I'm actually kind of thinking of rerouting her. Like, not... not that her hair is bad or anything, but she has a very soft head, and I'm probably going to have a lot of hair left over, maybe, from a project I'm doing. So, but yeah, this is her. This is the outfit she came in. It almost reminds me of Cinnamons from the Chrissy family, except just without the polka dots. These shoes, which I think come off, yeah. Little plastic shoesies. Oh, I can get it back on. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. That's her. Oh, she also has a tag that says doll, $3. <laughs> um, she doesn't have any markings besides made in Hong Kong on her back. 
So if anyone knows who she is, please let me know. She has this head that kind of rolls around, you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, that's her. And then, last but not least, I got these beautiful ponytails for my cinnamon reboot. Um, speaking of, where it is? Oh, there she is. Okay. Okay. So, here's my cinnamon reboot. I've been using Chrissy ponytails to reboot her. And so far, I have, like, the second, almost, almost, I got, like, that much more to do on the second row, and then I'm done with that. Um, but the thing is, this hair is going to be so much longer than her, because it curls at the end, and I actually straightened this, because I didn't know how it would look. So... But this hair is a totally different type of material than this hair. I think this is saran, and this is Kankleon, or Kankleon. I don't, I don't know how to say it. So I, I'm afraid that this hair won't be the same as this hair, and it just won't look right, and I'll have to totally just remove all of this hair. It'll be two rows done for nothing. Um, but, I don't know, I might leave it, see how it goes, finish up these few plugs, and then start the rest with these, because there's two ponytails here. So, that should give me enough to finish this up. Um, but yeah, so, those are, yep, those are the finds, and this video is 32 minutes, I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, so that's about it. And those are the dolls I got from Jeremiah. Thank you very much. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Just thank you. That's all I can say is thank you. <laughs> um, and yeah, in conclusion, I got a great box of dolls today. And I'm going to have fun working on them. Um, but yeah, so that's that, and you guys know what to do, comment, rate, subscribe, blah, blah, yada, yada, all that, because you know I love you guys, um, thank you guys, by the way, for like, all the subscribes, and likes, and comments, and I appreciate every, every one of you, and yeah, um, so I'm gonna wrap it up there, because this video is at 33 minutes, so yeah, but like I said, Comment, rate, subscribe, do your thing, and I will see you guys in another video. Later.